Okay, apparently I forgot to charge my batteries, but luckily I've got a ton of batteries, which is why I keep buying the same model GoPro every time I need a new one. Because I've got all these batteries for them, so it'll last forever. So, anyway, I'm out here. I haven't been out here in a while. Probably over a year since I've been here. Uh, Lakeside Teeler Park. I was going to fish Salado Creek this morning, but it rained and everything's kind of damp and just wet. As you can see, it's overcast. Uh, so, I would have fished that, but I completely forgot to put on like some old shoes that don't matter. So I'm wearing my better shoes today and I don't want to get them all dirty and muddy. So, uh, yeah, I'm just coming out here because it's a little bit more reasonable, I guess, when it comes to mud. So. I think water levels down a little bit. I mean, I've pulled fish out of right here before and this is completely dry. So hopefully there's water left in here somewhere. Uh, I'm getting a little concerned now. I'm almost at the dock and there's, there's no water yet. Wow, there's like barely any water left in this place. What happened? I mean, I know we were kind of in a drought, but I mean, it's, it wasn't that bad. But I mean, it does give you access to some new points. Like you can walk through what used to be the lake and get to a part that was never fishable before. But I mean, I would rather have the water level up. I mean, the dock is dry does give you an idea of how deep it's, it is around the dock though, I mean, when the water levels up where it's supposed to be. Look at this. This is insane. Like, I'm gonna walk, I can, I'm walking under the dock. I should be in water right now. And it's been like this for a while apparently, because it's dry. <laughs> Perfectly good black and blue, blue Sanko. There's uh, somebody's toad right here with the bullet weight. That actually might be. No, that's got some braid on it. Look at that. I'm gonna start cutting some lures off of here. Some of these might be my lures. So if I don't get any fish, at least I'll get some tackle. And it's, the dock is up higher than me, so the water level should be, um, water level should be about right here, which would be, uh, five feet. So that's a lot deeper than I thought it was. So that's, that's insane that the water level has dropped that far. Let's see what I can find out here, because there's all kinds of lures and stuff snagged to this dock. Because I've lost a lot myself. Man, this is crazy. What happened to this lake? I actually had no idea it was actually this deep, but still. Kinda, kinda gives me new respect for when it was up where it was supposed to be. There's a bobber floating or stuck to the cables there. Well, there's still fish in it. Just saw a big one jump out there. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. I just walked right underneath a yellow jacket's nest. That's massive. It's like that big. So, yeah. I hope it fills back up and gets restocked or something. 
but man all right i've gone all the way around got one bite and uh yeah there's a walmart around the corner from here i'm gonna run and get some more jig heads and if they have them hopefully they do and then uh i'm gonna go somewhere where i think i can catch a fish that way there's at least something going on in this video so we'll see all right uh well i forgot to lock my car hang on Alright, um, I was just here the other day, the last video I shot was here, and uh, if you saw that video at the end, well at the beginning I was fishing right here, I was throwing the skinny Senko, and then at the end I came back and was throwing a swim bait, and I lost a really nice fish, so I'm coming back today, just so hopefully I'll catch a fish to put into this video so it's not just me walking around a dry lake. So, I'm coming back to this spot and see if I can find one of those big ones again. Using the swim bait since I didn't really get to throw much of the swim bait around here. And of course there's a bunch of kids swimming down there. That's great. And there's somebody fishing in that spot. So, he's not going to be catching anything because the kids and I can't fish in that spot because uh, both of them. So, I'm going to move up find another spot. Well, first I'm going to go back to my car because I forgot my phone. Just like I forgot to lock it when I was walking away the first time. Now I'm back. Now I'm ready to fish. Okay, that's definitely a fish. Got him. Oh, he slipped off. It was just a little bass, but he slipped off on the hook set. Pulled him up out of the water and he was able to spit the hook. There we go. Got one. Oh, he shook off my bait. No, he spit up a bluegill. <laughs> there we go. I thought I saw my bait come flying off, but he spit up a bluegill. It's actually, if it was in my reach, I would pick it up and put it back in his mouth for him. A little spotted bass. There we go. So it's not a, uh, not a completely wasted video. I mean, I did catch a fish. Probably about nine, ten inches. Probably the best fish I've caught out of this exact spot. Not much of a flow through here, so I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe the spotted and largemouth bass will be hanging out in here. There's one. Oh, I missed one. Pulled it down off the hook too. If the water were moving faster, I would say quads. But since it's moving slower, there's probably a mix of all three. Water level's down a little bit. Usually, right where I'm standing is the water's just coming over the edge of it. But not quite. Fighting like a decent one, but it's not very long. It's, eh, it's not a terrible fish. It's not bad. There we go. Like I was saying, it would be the probably the spotted bass and largemouth hanging out over here. That's exactly what this is, a spotted bass. Probably about 10, 11 inches maybe. Nice little fat chunk, getting fat for the winter. Well, they get fat in the fall because, yeah. Not that they're getting fat to stay warm. They just get fatter in the winter. They just eat more in the fall anyway. I mean, that one wasn't very long, but it was pretty fat. Probably weighed a pound, 
little more than a pound, and I'm stuck in the tree. <sighs> Trying to find a place that's clear enough to cast. Doesn't look like I'm gonna find it over here. Okay, if I could just get through here, I found a spot. Got one. There we go. I knew this spot would pay off. Nice little. Is this a spotted bass? Sure is. Now I got a picture for Instagram. I never take pictures, so catch this tiny one just to get a picture for Instagram. Well, take a picture of a tiny one for Instagram. That's a fish. I don't even have to set the hook on him. He grabbed it and was swimming with it, so I never even felt him on there. <laughs> It's another spotted bass. Usually it's nothing but guads. But I think I've only caught... Did I catch a guad today? I don't think I caught a guad today. I don't know. I don't remember. The last one might have been a guad. But mostly spots. It's starting to get dark already. Sort of. Oh, got one right off the wall there. The, looks like the same fish. <laughs> There's a bite. He's on. This is a little one. But it's one. It's a bass. It's a guad this time. Good looking fish. Oh. Stop. Picture for Instagram, just because I like the spots on this one. So I've caught more fish in less time today than I did the other day when I was down here. I mean, I was further south. I wasn't in this exact area. Today I parked in the same spot and went north instead. Ended up under this bridge here. Oh, I missed one. I missed one. That was a bad miss too. Got one. Little bitty one. It's actually not even a bass this time. Green sunfish.
There we go. He took it at the surface too. They've all been about the same size today. It's another quad. So yeah, let's just get the hook out of his mouth. And I think with this fish, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day. Yeah. Well, I was gonna get a nice looking release and everything for to end the video with, but he slipped out of my hand and got away. Anyway, um, yeah, that was pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start heading home. One more cast. Bring this. As soon as I bring this last cast in, then I'm gonna leave. I really just wanted to come out here today. I wasn't planning on coming to the river. I wanted to go to Lakeside because I haven't fished there in forever, but I didn't catch anything there because the lake was drained. So I wanted to come out here, catch a couple of fish. That way the video at least had some fish in it because I don't like making videos that don't have fish in them. So yeah, with that, I am getting out of here. See you next time.